All right, we've had a lot of people um, basically complaining that they've got the airbag light showing on their Sierra Beta Mark III. Um, now, a lot of uh, a lot of the problems lead to a faulty connection behind the glove box here. So I'm just going to show you how to get to that connection, just to check the connections. Uh, obviously, first of all, pull the glove box down. Now there are four torque screws you need to undo. You've got one there. Actually, I was going to. drop it. I'll try and do it just while we're here because it is pretty easy to do. So there's one of the screws out. The other one is up here just next to the airbag. All right then you've got another one right here. As you can see I've semi already done them to make the video a little bit quicker. And then this one here. Oops. So there we go, four torque screws like that, and then this panel will just pull down. Forget about that connection, that's for the passenger side airbag. What you want to look at is this one right here, with the yellow connector. All you need to do is just, if you want to unconnect it, pull that down, and there's a little connection in there which you just lift up, and it pulls out like that. Put it back in. Just slide it back in. Make sure you're doing this with the ignition off, otherwise you will get the airbag light showing on the dashboard. Well, I suppose that defeats the object because a lot of people have already got the airbag light on the dashboard. Um, but that's how to just double check the connections there. That one is fine. It slots back in perfectly. And then it's just a case of putting this back in here.